Almost all energy on Earth originates from the sun in the form of waves that carry various amounts of energy. This range of low energy to high energy waves is called the electromagnetic spectrum. These waves occur naturally in the universe. However, humans also generate waves that are used in various applications. Waves with very low energy are called radio waves. Lightning and stars create radio waves, and humans use radio waves for communication, radar, and satellites. Microwaves are radio waves with higher energy. Energy from these waves can excite water molecules and produce significant amounts of heat, such as inside a microwave oven. Infrared or IR waves include thermal energy that is emitted by warm objects, including animals. Infrared is used for night vision and other scientific technologies. Ultraviolet or UV waves are found in sunlight, although almost all of it is blocked by the Earth's atmosphere. You're probably familiar with the effects of UV through sunburn and how black lights cause objects to fluoresce. In 1895, scientists discovered that X radiation, or X rays, are useful for imaging bones and other dense materials in the human body. Some stars also produce X rays. Gamma rays have extremely high energy. Some stars produce large amounts of gamma rays when they explode in supernovas. And like X-rays, gamma rays are also used in medical technology. All of these waves are invisible to the human eye, except a very small range, which we call the visible spectrum. These visible waves are commonly referred to as light. When light from the sun is passed through a prism, the light is separated into a spectrum of color. People used to believe that the prism added colors to the white light. However, in the 1600s, Isaac Newton passed a colored beam of light through a second prism. If the prism added colors, then even more color should be present in the beam. Instead, Newton showed that the colors recombined into white light. This indicated that white light is compiled of all the colors of light. Now that you know the composition of light, let's explore how light interacts with objects to show color. The sun is emitting or giving off white light. Remember that white light contains all the colors of light. We say that the flower is yellow, but it's actually reflecting yellow light. If some of the reflected yellow light enters our eye, we see a yellow flower. We do not see the rest of the light that is absorbed by the flower. If all of the light is absorbed by the flower, then none of the light enters our eye. This absence of light gives the flower a black appearance. Certain objects transmit light too. This means that some wavelengths travel through an object, like blue light travels through this piece of glass. What would the yellow flower look like if it was viewed under blue light? You can try your own experiments to answer this and other questions. As you experiment, try to explain what you observe with the words you have just learned. Emission occurs when light is radiated from an object. Reflection occurs when light encounters an object and changes direction. Absorption occurs when light is retained within an object. 
Transmission occurs when light passes through an object. 